Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. On my channel, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare reviews, skincare routine videos, occasional sprinkle of hair videos, and we're just not getting into lifestyle and vlog content. So if anything I just said interests you, definitely go ahead and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Also click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, hey! So I did a thing today. I shaved my face. I don't know what I was thinking, but it just seemed like the right thing to do when I was like washing my face and I saw a new razor and I thought, hmm, let me just go ahead and try this whole face shaving thing and see what it's about. Okay, so I really don't know what it's about because it's my first time trying it, but I shaved my face and I may have also shaved off whatever little eyebrows I have because I got all enthusiastic into the whole shaving thing and now I think I shaved off my brows. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be doing summer skin and I am going to be using brushes in this video, all brushes in the video. No sponges, no foam products, no um, wedges, no nothing. So you guys can see how flawless, and I mean flawless, your base can look if you can manage to use brushes. So if you want to see this base routine, especially on oily skin in the summer, and also how to keep it looking nice in the summer and you have oily skin then keep on watching so my skincare routine is done the only thing that i didn't do was to apply spf or moisturizer to my skin because i had these two products from urban skin rx urban skin rx sent us over the shine block oil control and moisturizer and the even tone daily defense mineral moisturizer so both of these have what they call their sheer glow technology and it is supposed to be a mineral moisturizer with spf in it that doesn't leave any whitish kind of residue on your skin so we're going to leave the mineral moisturizer and use it another day because we have this oil controlling moisturizer which also has a SPF 30 and it's actually 11.6% of zinc oxide in here it says modifying hydration and I really really want to try it it has comfort bark and safflower extract in here so it says that you can purchase these products exclusively at urban skin rx first impressions I hope you're ready okay this is what my hands look like it doesn't have any oils in it for sure this is definitely oil free and it says oil controlling too so we're supposed to leave it on for a few minutes and then it's supposed to disappear okay we're gonna wait and see how long it takes for it to disappear <laughs> so i don't know how much longer i'm supposed to wait for this but i do see that it definitely sheared out a little bit more than the first time I put it on but once again I feel like you know yes it was tested so that it doesn't look um, like whitish on but for some odd reason I have a feeling like it wasn't tested on anybody with skin as deep as mine or deeper because even though it sheared out some it's not completely shared out to where you can't tell that I have anything on my face because you can definitely tell that I have something on my face and it has like a slightish whitish kind of bluish cast to my skin. When it comes to the Soul Body products, I don't know if the Soul Body products are, are meant to be like only for body or only for face. I don't know if you can use it as a foundation or if it's only for your body. Now, Soul Body has a new bronzer and this is the face and body bronzer. But at the same time, they also have a Soul Body body and face makeup and this is actually called a foundation. Yeah, this one is definitely too dark for me. This is Deep Dark 24. And I mean, I feel like coming from 
the ColourPop family or ColourPop affiliate, saying that something is too dark for me is better than saying this is too red for me. So that means if you're somebody who is darker than me, you can definitely find soul body, body and face makeup. And this is actually called a foundation. And you're gonna be able to use this. I'm gonna, de I'm definitely gonna check to see if there is a shade before this and you know, use that instead of using this one. The face and body bronzer. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch it for you. Oh no. We're gonna mix a bit of the Deep Dark 24 into the, the Deep Dark Bronzer and we're gonna use both on the skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Oil Controlling Photo Finish Oil Control Primer. Okay, so I feel like this is a good mix on the back of my hand for my face. The thing with the bronzer, or with, yeah, with the face and body bronzer, is that it has a little bit of like a shimmer shade in it. So the first brush we're gonna be using today is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic brush. I really like this brush, not only because it has two different color sides, but because of how dense it is. It's very, very soft. It's a flat kabuki brush, and this is the kind of brush that you want to blend your foundation with. You can also use like a rounded kabuki brush, which Juvia's Place does have, and I have used it quite a number of times to blend my foundation, okay? So I'm gonna blend it with this one. And I'm just gonna pat it in. My face is very dry already. I was gonna do the powder before method, but because of the oil controlling um, moisturizer that I use and the oil controlling primer that I use, I didn't wanna go ahead and put the powder on because then I feel like that would make it too cakey. And I definitely feel like I didn't mix this well enough. Or maybe because of the bronzer that was in there, it's making my face look a bit more golden, maybe. Today I want to give skin but better vibe. A very medium to light coverage kind of look because you can still see my dark spot right here. It's very present, you can see it. So this is definitely not a full coverage kind of um, summer skin, okay? I want it to be light and airy, something you can wear to like picnics and stuff and not feel like you overdid it on your, on your face, if you know what I mean. So right now my face does feel very matte. It feels very... Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. The reason why I'm using this is because it's not a very mattifying concealer, which means it's not going to dry down too much, especially for the fact that we use a mattifying moisturizer, we use a mattifying primer. We don't want our skin to look too dry. So we're going in with a concealer that's a little bit more on the creamy, almost radiant side, okay? And we're just gonna apply enough where it's gonna brighten our face and cover whatever we need to cover, but we're not gonna put too much to where we're gonna need too much powder to set it, okay? That's the point of using a concealer like this where you can blend it out. If you use a little bit, you can blend it out very nicely. This is actually the shade number four, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in using a Morphe brush. I'm gonna use a Morphe M536 brush. I've had this forever. I don't, I don't even know if it's still available, but you need, for your under eyes, you want brushes that are small enough to fit under your eyes. And you also want it to be dense enough where it's not like flying your products everywhere. And also that it would keep the products where it's supposed to be. You want it to be dense enough. The M35 is a good one to use. The Juno & Co. ES16 is a good one to use as well. What you're gonna do is tap it in. So for the foundation, you, you tap, it's like a tap flick motion, it's not a dragging motion. It's more like a, like this, like this kind of motion. It's a pat and flick type of motion or a patting motion all together and that would blend out your foundation very, very well. Just like if you were using a blending sponge, okay? Now with the concealer, it's the same way. It's a tap in motion, okay? And you wanna keep the foundation, the concealer where you put it. You don't want to blend it out too much where it actually ends up taking over your entire face. You don't want to do that. Now, if you are a beginner at makeup, definitely check out the Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Concealer. 
because of the formulation it's not gonna dry out too quickly on your skin when you are blending it in like I've been talking forever and I can still go back and blend these out and it's not gonna dry down on my face and become cakey and not blend out so if you're a beginner on makeup you need a very easy to blend or a very blendable concealer Juvia's Place Eye & Magic concealer is one of those really really easily blended concealers that you can use I actually used this on C Mocha and she absolutely loved it and she took number seven <laughs> and took it home. So check that out. And use my code OHEMA at checkout so you can get a discount on your order. This is why I like brushes. Brushes help you be more precise and you don't have to over blend. It keeps the product exactly where you want it to stay and it doesn't go away. It doesn't go where you don't want it to go, okay? But also because of that, you have to use very little product that way you're not like trying to blend it and it takes over your face okay and once again it's just a light pad padding motion okay just and if you need to blend out the edges you just pat and flick it don't drag it on your face because you don't want it to move any makeup from your face okay so before i go in with any kind of setting powder i always like to blend all the harsh edges out I'm going to go in with our foundation brush and what I'm going to do is blend around the concealer and that will take away that harsh line that was there before. That helps it blend into your skin very nicely. Like over here, if you see this harsh line right here, you just take your the same brush that you use to blend in your foundation and you go over that and that makes that harsh line go away. And then I blend down into the concealer on my forehead and that definitely helps balance out everything. I know you can see it. Also you saw right here I had very harsh lines in that one away as well. It's almost like toning down the concealer with the brush. Okay, and then you can go back in and blend it out some more. So what I've been doing when it comes to my neck being darker than my chest whenever I apply my face product is I've been using my Fenty powder foundation. This is the shade 495 and 495 has this warm tone to it to where when you apply it to your neck or when I apply it to my neck, it helps balance out the shade of my neck, my face, and my chest. Um, because usually after I put on my foundation, my face becomes almost a little bit too light for my neck. And that makes my neck, the darkness in my neck stand out, right? Now, I don't like using cream products on my neck because when you sweat and you're using cream products, it's gonna have the lines in it. But if you use powder products, it's, it's gonna help you it's gonna prevent the sweat. It doesn't crease as easily. If that makes any sense, leave me a thumbs up, okay? And no, I don't like applying foundation to my neck because the foundation shade is not going to help me balance out my the darkness in my neck, okay? Next, we're going to be using our setting powder. We're using the Beauty Blender setting powder. Now, this setting powder has some kind of a, a glow effect to it so i really really like it and i will link the video of me trying two shades of the setting powder down below and that would help you pick out the one that's good for you okay i'm gonna go ahead and press the powder in we don't need to bake because we didn't use too much concealer and because of all the mattifying products that we use today we definitely don't have to worry about anything breaking or sweating off our face or anything like that but i definitely go ahead and put a lot of powder on my nose because i don't want my nose to sweat too much so we're gonna go into the pixie promise palette i wasn't originally gonna use this palette because i felt like there were too many shades in here but i realized that i feel like they have one shade for all skin skin tones if that makes any sense or for majority of the skin tones they have one shade so I decided to go ahead and give this deep shade a try so I can see what 
it can do, but so far I feel like it can do a lot, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and place some over here and it's definitely deep enough for me to use as a contour or something to help like add some shadows to my face. I'm just gonna apply it where I would normally apply my contour. I feel like I've never, I haven't used any other contour um, besides the chocolate palette. But I like it. Okay, Pixie, we see you. For this very light look, I'm just using this contour because it's not overwhelming and it's not too much. Definitely adds a lot of dimensions to my face without it being like too dark, okay? So what you're gonna do is contour. Some people tell you to contour where this part of your ear is and come down. I like to contour the from where the top of my ear stops, okay? And then I just draw the line coming down. So I contour up here. That helps you have a lifted face, okay? Instead of contouring down here, which is gonna make you have a droopy face. So just try to look up the top of your ear and draw the line down and just contour over there. Also, if you just look at your face, it's gonna tell you exactly where your contour is gonna go, okay? I just like to place my contour here because it follows my natural lines and I like that. So after I apply my contour, I go back and take my powder found my powder brush and just blend into the contour so I don't get any harsh lines. And I'm using the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1. I cannot find my new blush duo, so I've been using this one still. I also like to apply some of this deep shade in here across my forehead to give me like a sun-kissed kind of bronze kind of glow kind of I don't know why I do it I just like what it looks like when I do it it just adds a lot of warmth to my face and I like that you obviously don't have to do it um, I'm gonna apply some to my nose because once again it adds this very nice warmth to my face I feel like the blush definitely adds a lot to your summer look, especially your bronzed, mild bronzed, mild skin kind of look. The blush definitely adds a lot to the look. Like, I mean, you saw exactly how different. I feel like my face changed as soon as I added the, bl the blush to it. I really, really like it. It looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Matte blotting mist this is a mattifying mist so it's definitely gonna matte down my face and i'm doing it this way because i get to have some of that kaolin clay in here on my skin now and then when i finish everything i add some more on top of it and that's definitely going to keep my face matte for a really really long time i'm gonna put me trying this product out down below so you can see it i said i was gonna try it out in the summer too so i'm definitely gonna do it as soon as i find my matte uh, primer from e.l.f. okay I have to shake this very well because it has powder pig particles in here okay guys so this is my finished summer skin this is a medium coverage summer skin okay so we don't have excessive powder on we don't have too much cake on we don't have too much foundation on and for that reason the skin still looks like skin but better okay and also because i use more mattifying products in my routine my face does not look oily especially um when i came back from doing my brows and my eyes and my lips and all of that on a regular day my face would have been a lot oilier than it was and on a regular day i usually bake my under eyes and my nose and my forehead and my cheeks to prevent it from getting too oily okay but because we used more mattifying products i didn't have to do that 
that now another thing that i absolutely love and i don't know if it's still available is this elf matte elf blotting mist the blotting mist definitely keeps my face matte for a very 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 long time anytime i add it to my routine my face stays matte for very long and also because it is a blotting mist you can actually put this in a bag or something and then anytime you start feeling oily you just go ahead and spritz a little bit of it and it literally sucks the oil right off your face okay this is it for my finished look showing you guys a really gorgeous simple easy summer skin let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of the products that i tried today or any of the products that i, that I og use in my videos these earrings are also once again from true face by grace i hope you have a fabulous day today and i'll see you guys in another video bye